In this video, we'll show you how to record a video directly into Connect, as well as how to upload a video file. First navigate to the Assignment Submission folder that you want to submit the video to. This will take you to the Submit Assignment section. Instead of selecting Add a File as you normally would, you click on the Record Video button. Now you'll have two options. Method 1. Record your video directly into Connect. Method 2. Upload a video file that you have already created. If you already have a video file to upload, then skip this next section and go to Method 2. Method 1. Recording video directly to Connect. First, we select the Record Webcam Video button and that will open up the video options. If you have a webcam and mic, this will open up with a webcam feed panel. You will probably need to give permission to use the camera if you've never used it before. You can make a recording here easily enough. Simply press New Recording and it will begin. You'll notice that the default length is 30 minutes. When your recording is complete, hit Stop Recording. It will automatically play back the video. You can choose to retake the recording again. Or when you're happy, click Add. Fill in the title and description. Make sure that you fill these out with enough identifiable information for your teacher. Audio language is only for the subtitles. Now click Add and your recording will be attached and ready to send. Now you'll see your video attached as a file. To delete it, click on the cross. It may take some time compressing and uploading the file depending on the size. You will need to have a good internet connection, preferably using a wireless network rather than just data, as video files can be quite big. If you want to record another video to also add, you could select Record Video and then go through those same steps to add another video. So I'll just add a quick comment for my instructor. If you need to upload a cover sheet or any other documents with the video, use the Add a File button and follow the prompts, then click the Submit button to complete. I'll get a confirmation page that my submission was received successfully, along with an emailed receipt. Press Done and the process is complete. If you want to see how to upload a completed video file, then continue to watch the next section. Method 2. Uploading a video file as an assessment submission. Let's go through the process to upload a video file. You'll need to have the file on your computer and ready to go. It must be under 2 GB in size. If the file is larger than this or you have a very slow internet, you may need to do the following. Compress the file so it is smaller, using video software such as VLC, Adobe Rush, Handbrake or an online video compressor. Trim it down or split it into parts which you can upload separately. For further information on this, watch the other videos in this series. Now let's run through the file upload process. To start, you should be inside the Assignment Submission folder, and instead of selecting Add a File as you normally would, you click on the Record Video button. Now I'm going to select Upload File. We'll select Choose File, Locate Our File, and then select Open. You'll see the file name next to the button. Click Add which will open a new window. Fill in the title and description. Audio language is only for the subtitles and optional. By ticking, automatically generate captions from audio it will create subtitles. We'll skip that step as it's not necessary in this case. Click Add and it will process and upload the file. This may take some time depending on the size of the file. Your recording is now attached and ready to send. It will show your video file that is attached. You can click on the link to watch it play. Or you can delete it by clicking on the cross. If we had another video to add, I could select record video and then go through those same steps to add another video. I could add other files along with it too, like any assignment. Or I could add some audio through the record audio button. I've only got the one video to submit for this assessment, so I'll just add a quick comment for my instructor. Then click the Submit button to complete. I'll get a confirmation page that my submission was received successfully, along with an emailed receipt. Press Done and the process is complete. 
If you're interested in learning how to submit videos using your smartphone, or how to record and prepare a video for submission, we have a series of videos that cover those topics as well, 